Okay, so I just want to give you a quick tour of Python GlowScript. Um, so to access it, just go to glowscript.org. Basically what it is is it's kind of like a Google Docs, Google Drive, but for um, writing and running Visual Python code. Now what Visual Python code is, it's a programming language, um, but it's really straightforward, it's really intuitive, it's easy to pick up if you don't have any coding experience, and it works really, really, really well for writing um, simulations of mechanics systems for, for students learning physics. So I'm already signed in, so when I, when I went to the thing here, um, because it's linked to my Google account, and since I'm signed into Google on Chrome, I'm just going to the site logged me in automatically. So first thing, you're going to have to make an account. Um, once you make an account, then you can start editing code. So, um, for example, what it looks like when I log in and I look at my programs, it looks like this. So I've got a couple different folders up here. Um, this folder is where I'm keeping all of the code that I have written for the Summer Curriculum Writing Institute for this unit. So if you want to look at something, I'll pick something that is maybe, maybe let's just look at this here. Um, so I'm going to click the edit button to look at the code I have written for this. So I'm not going to sort of, th this isn't designed to be a lesson on how to use GlowScript. I'm just kind of trying to give you a general overview of how it works. Um, what we're looking at, this is all of the code for this program. Right, so this program has a sphere bouncing back and forth between two walls. It's moving at a constant velocity except for when it reverses directions. You can um, change the camera view, you can zoom in, you can uh, zoom out, and uh, yeah, I can go back to the program and I can make changes. Um, basically, this is how straightforward it is once you sort of learn the syntax. I'm putting in a wall, I'm telling it that this is sort of the variable, and this is what that, that well actually this is sort of an object because it's got multiple things inside of it, but this wall object is a box, I'm specifying its position, how big it is, its color, and the other wall is also a box. Again, I'm giving its position, its size, its color. I'm doing the same thing for that ball. I'm basically saying the ball is a sphere, um, and then I'm giving its initial position, its initial velocity. Here I'm setting the time step, and here I have a loop. I'm basically updating the ball's position every time it loops based on its velocity and the size of the time step. Right, this is really just sort of a x equals x naught plus vt equation. And it just moves at a constant speed. And then it's got this condition in here where if the ball moves, um, like if it gets outside the space between the two walls, its velocity reverses direction. Right, so ball velocity is the old ball velocity but negative. So that's just a quick example of some sample code. It's really easy to switch back and forth between running it and editing it. Um, note that I could also share it. So for example, I could click the share. Right, I'll go back and show you where that is right here, share or export. And I can just take this link and I can send it to anyone and they can come in and they can view this code and they can run it, but they can't edit it. So that's sort of basically how the setup works. I can go back to my folders here. Um, notice that you can make new programs. Um, you could probably download the files also to your computer, although I never do that because I don't have the need. So the reason this is really, really great is not only because it's pretty simple to pick up, but also because the help resources are really, really thorough and easy to follow. So just to take a look at it, if I click help, well, over here, they have information on, on how to render different kinds of objects. So for example, if we go to, um, let's just say, let's pick something simple. How about a sphere? Right, right here, it tells me how to define a sphere. Right, here's an example. Right, you just put in the position vector and the, the radius of the sphere. And that basically puts a sphere at whatever the position you want. Um, let's pick a different object, maybe an arrow. Right, same thing. It tells me how to um, build an object that is an arrow by defining all of these elements inside of it. Um, 
It also gives a few more things that this example doesn't define, but you could add in. Right? So you can, um, for example, give it color, right? and it gives you the different color options. You can change the opacity. Um, so there's just a lot, a lot of stuff you can do. Um, let's go back to the main help menu here. Um, they also have some intro videos on how to get started and how to write loops. Um, right, pretty thorough stuff here. Let's see. Yeah, lots and lots of help resources. Um, another cool thing that they have on here is they have some sample or example programs. So I'm just going to go ahead and search it up. So they have their example programs. Um, let's just go here. What? Come on. Let's go back. I don't know why that's not working. I think it was linked a little bit further down. Here we go. Example programs. And here they have a bunch of cool programs that you can kind of look at and play with to help you learn. So let's just look at something cool in here. Um, here's one that I kind of stole for one of the Curriculum Writing Institute things. Well, not stole, but you know, I borrowed this code and kind of made it my own a little bit. Um, let's look at it. So this is two binary stars orbiting each other. Uh, I'm not going to walk through the code, but as you can see, for such a complex system, it's not really that much that you, you have to write. Right? This is only 30 lines of code. A lot of it is just Right, like a third of it is just a reminder of, of how to use the camera. Um, and with just this small amount of code, you can write a program that looks something like this. Right, two stars orbiting each other. Pretty cool. So that's basically an intro to Python GlowScript, an awesome resource. And I really, really encourage you to check this out and play around. Don't be intimidated, because even if you've never coded before, um, the resources are really good, and just sort of Googling things like Googling vPython, right, uh, Visual Python, and then a question or a command that you don't know what it means will take you to an explanation. So there's a lot of help out there, even outside of this specific website. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you find this to be a useful tool.